leaders out there on the field from England's point of view, aren't there? Lots of voices. So James Graham is, uh, is not the sole character. Williams and Lomax taps it on. The ball's gone to ground. It's a pick-up and a chase here, and England are in trouble. Inside goes Nicarima, but he's going to be called all the way back. There's a bit of a, a stash going on here as well. Yeah, I think there's a shot on Tompkins when he passed the ball. I don't know if it was late or not. Well, Adam Blair's got a bit grin on his face. I'm not sure about Sam Tompkins. Let's see what the ref has to say here. Just see if it's late or not. Just a par push, just take him back first down. Yeah. I think you've got to run at uh, normal speed as well. Well, it, in all honesty, I can understand the England players' reaction because uh, you have to look after your pivots, and that yep. was for me, that's a late shot. You watch a great sixes and sevens. They all took it to the line, you know, took some tough tackles. Here's Connor to give England the, uh, the first points yeah. of the test match. He's put it over safely enough. So England leads 2 0. Six minutes left. New Zealand aiming up through Jesse Bromwich. Work out of there now, Luke. And Brandon Luke, Luke, Smith Luke, 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 Luke. back in position. Look where New Zealand are at the moment. Johnson to Nicarima, and here comes, here comes the captain and fullback, Watini Zelezniak, just as he did last week, punching a hole in that England defence, and New Zealand have the first try of the game. I tell you, this kid is a special player. You know, he scored last week, he hit a great line. This is a different line now. He just comes on the shoulder on an outside arc, and you could see we were right behind him there. The angle and the acceleration when he hit the ball was absolutely brilliant. Tompkins isn't a slouch, he's a good defender, but he was just left for dead. Anfield does its best to try and put him off his stride. Striking of the ball looks clean, and the flags are up to confirm that New Zealand now lead by six points to two. Brandon Smith... Middle of the field to Nikarima, Johnson, and now to Watani Zalesniak, and here's Rapana reaching. Shots. I'm not sure he got there. No, he didn't. And he's knocked it on. Yeah, he's knocked it on. Yeah, that is, it's a great shift once again. It creates three on three, but I, I'm not sure that's the correct uh, ball there. Oh. And it just becomes too easy to defend for uh, for the wingman there, Tommy Makison. And as he, he reaches out, you can see. He's desperate to get that ball over the wire, which reaches out and it just goes against the joint of his shoulder as, uh, as the desperate Connor and Lomax come across there to prevent the try. Johnson picking it out and passing it on for Bromwich to have a bit of a shove. Down this blind side with Proctor. Who's five away? England back on their own line, and Smith goes out of dummy half. The offload is great, and I think they might have squeezed this one over. And if they have, hats off Brandon Smith, because that was sensational. No try on the field. So let's hear for the first time from our video referee, who's Ben Thaler. There, to me, I can't see there if it is. No, it's not the ball. It's an England man socks. Right, I've got no evidence to overturn the live call, so we're going to go tackle four, uh, held up over the line. Jerry? Yeah, thanks, mate. Well, you have the call. Jordan Raffanau is going to be disappointed here. No try. No try. Last tackle, you heard the call from on the field. So here it comes. Smith comes right. Johnson with those feet of his with a great pass away, and that needed some stopping. Was that Tommy Makin said he was behind that? What that was tackle. a great tackle. What a tackle that was. That's fantastic. It really is there, Tommy Makinson. He's he no right to make this. The reach to make look at the size of the guy. It's brought down there. Clark stands and waits 18 meters out, goes right to Tompkins again. England's line comes on and Bateman crashes in. But they stick, they stick a hold. He's wrestling hard. But I think that's good play for him. They're trying to go through them now rather than round them. And that will keep the edges honest. Hudson puts it back. Williams skips into the hole, tosses up for Makinson. What a try! Tommy Makinson. The quality of him as a finisher made that an inevitability from the moment he caught that. England do have their try. They do have parity. And they've got a kick to come. 
So the coach has seen enough for the time being. He's off to the uh, to the dressing rooms to deliver his half-time talk because I think by the time Connors kick this and the restart, it will be half-time to give his side the lead from the top. Oh, that's a poor kick. It wasn't that far away in the end, but he didn't strike that awfully well. But it is 6-6. Josh, it's, we haven't there. seen much of Sean Hold Johnson yet. You know, Josh, go three. Don't attempt fate, but he has been very Josh quiet. Five. He hasn't run with the ball much. Hell, release! His kicking go game's four. been good, though, hasn't yeah, it, Johnson? It has, yeah. Taken in here by uh, Armour, who's kept it alive, and New Zealand again, a little threat, and here comes Watini Zalesniak, bursting through, he's got a man to his right inside Johnson, but he goes left, and the pass away, and Mamado will finish in the corner. A burst of electricity from the men in black, and the try sees them back in the lead. Well, already I think New Zealand have, uh, have shown the hand, a little tweaking from Michael Maguire, perhaps at half-time, the New Zealand coach. Already they've offloaded the ball a couple of three times, and that's what opened up the England defence. There's a bit of a, a broken field defence there from, uh, from an offload. Here's Johnson for the touchline. Stride in, England fans behind him. Daring to look, this to give his side a six-point lead. That looks a good kick, that looks a terrific kick. Couldn't have been any better, could it? Right over the black dot. His kicking has been brilliant of two tests. Bonich. Inside for Leeson Armagh. England player left on the floor, is that Clark? Who stayed down? Yeah, that's uh, Took a big hit, didn't he? Made the tackle. In the meantime, the, the Kiwis look to push on this left hand side with Liu. Oh. It's another penalty. Take this, definitely. De definitely. Yeah. It extends it to a, a two score lead. Yeah. And, uh, Nine minutes into the second half to give his side an eight point lead. So England now have to score twice to push their noses ahead from this position. Masters is running with real labour as he gets back in the line. England have sensed that, have they? Yes, they have. They go that way now. Bateman runs it in hard. Ten metres out with the offload. Gildart's on the end of it. Surrender in the middle, Sean. Still plenty of time to go. Williams, Tompkins, back to Lomax. Lomax takes on the line. Great hands. Absolutely fantastic hands from Connor. At the end, Tommy Makinson points at his man and said, You made that for me. All I had to do was put it down, and England are right back in the test match. Can he stick this over and bring the game back to within two points? He hangs it. Oh, it's just fallen the wrong side. Hodgson comes down this right side, and Bateman. Danger. Again, again, jagging towards the middle and the left. Two tackles for England to prise open this Kiwi defence. They're doing it the muscular way. They are doing it through Tom Burgess. Has he got it in? No, the referee says he doesn't think so. Now the ball is up there, up, and it's lost. And I have to tell you, it's been lost. I've got no evidence to overturn the live call of no try, so it's going to be no try in a 20 metre restart. Well, no try. We, we always refer to the fact that it's so important what the referee on the field calls, and I think we can be confident in what the referee called there because he was he was in a pretty good position. Well, they've really got the wind in the sail, haven't they? The, the England side, so it's this is the storm New Zealand are having to weather. And interestingly, they've sent uh, Brandon Smith back out there with his right knee really heavily strapped. He's had a lot of strapping in the last two games, hasn't he, Brandon Smith? Oh, and there's a, there's a problem here. Yeah, well, mate, that. my, my um, rule in life was that he tried to ground it and he took a grip, away. A oh, grip yeah. around the ear that he wasn't enjoying. Yeah, I, mean, I think there's a grip on the eye as well, which is not nice. He's got to be careful of keeping the hands away from the eye. Look, that's a... Yeah, that's too close to the eye there for me. Well, England certainly looked oh, the sharp. Load. Lomax has caught it well. Sorry, John. Yeah, they certainly looked the sharper now on both sides. Hudson, they go blind quickly. Whitehead with a pass away. Connor scores the try. It's all level again. Boy, does he deserve that moment. And England.
and wonderful quick play, quick thinking by Whitehead. And a great finish from Jake Connor. Really, really clever play there. Really clever. They got the numbers off the short side. It was a decision to go there. And they came up with a try. And it all comes from that error, doesn't it? That New Zealand error as they were bringing the ball away from their own half. Gave England the field position. And my word, England took full advantage of that. His try has drawn them level. His kick is good. And it's just hit the post. Just hits the post. And it's 14 points apiece. 12 minutes to go. Williams with a pass away. Whitehead. Oh, what a great offload by him. Good start. And Lomax is running it on. And here comes Mekinson. Oh! Went for the miracle ball down the middle. Went for the miracle ball. It was a, it was a forward pass. Oh. So New Zealand get away with that. It's caught with some big players as Whitehead has it down that left hand channel. And, and Lomax oh. again troubling them with his speed. They just couldn't come up with a pass there. And Hudson stands and waits. Ball security is important now because you know they can see the New Zealanders flying into the ball. Williams to Lomax. Lomax running in hard again, delays the pass. Great quick hands from Connor. Making some cuts in. Back towards the middle. Tommy Makinson to finish it. Tommy Makinson might just have won the series for England with a hat trick try. Has he lost possession? Just jog that back, please. The ball is on the ground at that point. His hands on it there. Keep it going. There, the fingers are still on, and the ball is on the ground. That's a try. That's a try, Jerry. It's a game of millimetres, and measure for measure, it's England's game! And again, you know, it's just watch Long Marx has come in, he's caused the problems, beautiful pass again, he's forced inside because it's checked, but what the finish that is! You said John to take something magical, and that's what's happened. Well, both tests have been won by great, great tries, because I think this is the match winner, and it's fantastic, and what... What a fitting tribute to this guy, he's had a great game and it's so good that that fella looks to have made the absolute gem of a play to win this test match. With five minutes left to go, but England in the driving seat, Tomkins puts it over and you suspect from this point on the best New Zealand can hope for is a draw, Nikarima picks it up. New Zealand now, going for everything, Tapao, down that right-hand side, takes on Whitehead, Whitehead's got the ball, oh, what a tackle that is from Elliot Whitehead, not only to stop his man, but to get the ball off him too, but the, the clock ticks down, this is it, that's it, England win the Test Series, make no mistake, they have beaten a whole high-quality side in these last two games, and that's because this England side is also high quality.